Hey guys, I'm Mike Mitchell II, Extreme Nature and Landscape Photographer and Nikon Ambassador. In this video, we're going to discuss five tips on how to get creative with your Eclipse compositions. If you haven't already done so, make sure to check out my two previous videos where I discuss recommendations for gear as well as settings for the event. When it comes to creating compelling images with the Eclipse, it requires a vision and planning ahead, as the event is only a matter of minutes long depending on your location. So what can you do to create out of this world images? Well, let's start with tip number one. With so much happening in such a short period of time, my biggest tip is to make sure you know your gear prior to the day of the eclipse. Be comfortable with manually focusing using focus peaking, adjusting your ISO, shutter, and aperture, as well as putting on and removing your solar filter quickly. Tip number two is to anticipate. What I mean by this is to understand the phases of the eclipse and the order in which they take place. Have mental notes for what phase you are about to start shooting and what settings may need to be adjusted from the previous phase. The Eclipse will be moving quite quickly through the frame if you're using a telephoto lens, so I recommend composing a bit ahead of the movement as the moment is about to take place. Tip number three, give yourself some wiggle room. You don't need to have the Eclipse filling your frame. Use the resolution of your camera to crop in a bit afterwards. This will allow you to be a bit less pressed for perfectly composing the shot in the camera. It's easier to crop in than to crop out. Tip number four, don't be afraid to create a composite of the eclipse phases and path amongst the sky. This is a bit more creative approach to shooting the eclipse, but it can be quite fun. For these shots, you want to shoot the complete transition of the eclipse from start to finish by taking a tight shot of it every 10 minutes or so. You can then layer these images together in post over a wider, say 24mm shot of the landscape to tell a story of the event. Tip number five is to find some foreground to frame the eclipse up with. This doesn't have to be anything huge. Something as simple as a silhouetted tree can get the job done. It can be nice to add some content and depth to the frame by doing so. Unfortunately, this eclipse will be taking place at a pretty high angle in the sky, so looking up is your best bet for finding a subject. All right guys, that's it. I hope this video helps get the creative juices flowing with your eclipse compositions. I wish you all clear skies and happy shooting.